Okay, good uh, afternoon to my viewers and subscribers. Uh, just a quick video today. So, vehicle's a 2006 Suzuki Grand Vitara, 2.7 liter uh, V6, and we are at the uh, right front wheel. And I just wanted to show you this. So, right front wheel, this is obviously the caliper bracket. There's the caliper right there. And uh, lower, a guide pin. And this is the upper guide pin right here. And as you can see, this got a rubber, uh, I don't know, bushing, you can call it on there. And I noticed that this goes in very difficult here. Like, like I can't even, like I'm pushing really, 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 really hard here. Okay, I can't, it took me pliers to get this thing out here, okay? Um, the vehicle has very low mileage on it. It has, I'm original owner and it's got about, just under 25,000 kilometers. Yes, 25,000 kilometers. So um, anyways, uh, so that's the mileage on it. And that's the history of the vehicle there. So this is extremely difficult. It's, it's literally impossible to get in. And what is the culprit here? Well, that rubber bushing, don't use brake clean to clean it. When I did a, I think I did a caliper slider service on this um, uh, a few years ago. Uh, the bottom guide pin doesn't have it, but the top guide pin has this. And I just want to uh, show you something here. For example, this uh, brake clean, uh, it says brake and parts cleaner, and you're thinking, oh, wow, you know, um, uh, this is works. It says here, note, I don't know if I'll read this to you, pre-test product compatibility with plastics and protect rubber parts from overspray overspray okay uh, now I want to show you another uh, uh, brake clean uh, can here so let's just put this back here this brake clean this is available for my local parts store here it's a certain I think they're brand certified there now this one says um, yeah that's French so let's go to it says for brakes, I don't know if you can read that there, but I'll read it to you. Directions for brakes and CV joints. Spray directly on parts to be cleaned until oil, grease, and grime run off. Wipe with a clean cloth and allow to air dry. Um, let's see here. Does not leave film or residue. Will not damage rubber components. Okay, that's up there. So will not damage rubber components. Uh, you know, it says removes grace, oil and dirt from brake parts, instant evaporation. I would still be very hesitant to use this on rubber, okay? So, uh, takeaway message, don't use brake clean uh, to clean these uh, uh, guide pins, especially if you have a rubber bushing there. So, what's, what's the option? The option is this too. So, that's the old one from the other side. Um is to, uh, the kit is uh, short of going to the dealership here. Uh, Carlson, uh, part number 16089, 16089. And you get uh, a boot. Um, uh, this does, actually, this does uh, um, a front, uh, both left and right side there. Uh, is to, and you get two of these, is to replace this uh, little rubber uh, bushing there with that. So moral of the story, the takeaway message is don't use brake clean because that might swell that over time and uh, cause that issue uh, there. So thank you very much. I appreciate uh, you watching this and I'm very grateful to my viewers and my subscribers and wishing you all a great day. Thanks for watching.